Anyway, I forgot to mention in my video yesterday about my uh, stellar fusion and the way stars work. I had a good analogy that I forgot to even mention in this video. That uh, so I was watching this Stargate episode at work, and I was making my lunch, and I was making some mushroom soup, and they were talking about how stars, you know, have this mass on the outside pushing in on the liquid explosive part to keep it from exploding, and it's like making soup. You put the soup in the microwave and you nuke it for a couple of minutes so that it reaches maximum entropy and it builds up all this heat and it's bubbling like a volcano and it's about to explode. But then you crumble up some crackers and you put on top of it and the mass of the crackers keeps it steady. So like if you had to take your bowl of soup into the kitchen or in, like into the living room, if you had to travel around with this soup, it's stable that way. Or if you just had soup without crackers in it, it could be popping in your face and like exploding and spilling all over the place. That's how stars work, is like soup. Anyway, I got some news. My power supply on my computer has went bad and I'll just be playing Warcraft or something and all of a sudden my computer just shuts down with no warning whatsoever. So luckily it never went off when I was watching porn or anything important, but I decided to finally go out and spend some of my birthday money on a new power supply and I got this new Antec Trio. 650 watts. My old one's like 400 watts, so this should cover my webcam and all these USB peripherals and shit that I didn't have enough power for. Luckily, I was smart enough to wire it all correctly the first try, and my two SATA drives like have broken terminals and they're just barely hanging on. But luckily, they stayed on. Oh, check this out. Got one of these things. Canned air. I've been cleaning the inside of it out. You can't see it. Ooh. Oh, I'm not supposed to be drinking sodas anymore, am I? I'm getting tired of these stupid apple juice and grape juices that I've been drinking for like the last four or five months and it's been putting me to sleep. Sorry to get some diet sodas. I've been kind of alternating. Oh, I got some V8 Twisters. Those are pretty good. It's got all kinds of healthy crap in it, like carrot juice and apple juice and stuff like that. And here's the biggest thing. I went on a shopping spree. If you can see this big box behind me here, it is a chair to replace this squeaky piece of shit. What are these little blue things on my screen? I hate this camera. Look at that. Little lights right here. I can't get rid of them. I have to move my camera a certain way or block the light. Yeah. Oh, by the way, since it's summer, the chipmunks outside in the parking lot are back. 200 bucks this chair cost me. Ooh. Uh, this guy looks like one of those um, Zet Nicotels from Stargate SG-1. Here's the core. Oh, Telescoping central bar. Oh, yeah. It's like a big windmill shuriken from Naruto with bow wrap so you don't actually kill anybody. Ah, here we go. Front, fronte, devant. This is my little silver knife. I've had this for about 10 years. I use it for everything from clipping my toenails to opening boxes. I got it at uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's Smoky Mountains. At this little amusement park type place where you turn in these tickets for prizes. And I didn't have enough and I really wanted this knife and this old man gave me his ticket so I could get it. <laughs> Fool. This knife has served me well these past 10 years. For like 15 years. This is an old ass knife, but it's looked brand new still. It's not very sharp, but it's got toenails. Yeah, one day I'm gonna be accidentally made famous like the Star Wars kid with the staff. I'm gonna cry my eyes out. Insert gas lift into the center hole of Star Base. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Align seat plate over pre-drilled holes on the underside of seat cushion B, that's the S part of it, with black tension knob facing the front of the seat. The front of the seat, which is, wait a second, like that. Ah, these two holes go for something else. <laughs> Yeah, like so. All right, got this adjustable thing, and I got the back on. <laughs> it's coming together now. Ladies, I can build computers and chairs and do awesome cool moves. Something to keep in mind. I haven't seen Dex Flame go in here. Locate central hole. Ha! <laughs> That's another thing, ladies. I can do that. Or the gas lift push down firmly until connection is secure. That's the way I roll. Uh, I didn't hear anything click. I don't have any arms yet, but I'm going to give her a test sit. Nice. That is fine American craftsmanship. Oh shit, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I want to do? <laughs> I call this spinning a basketball while spinning in a chair. Ah, fuck, that's not gonna work. You see, the momentum of the spinning of me is affecting the momentum of the basketball. 2x minus y. I want to fly off my finger. If, if I put my arm straight in the air, then it spins on the same axis as me. This is high quality physics. Oh shit. That was not fake. I fell out of my fucking chair. From dizziness. Eh. Chair has been completely assembled. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the stuff. Anyway. That was me putting together a chair and doing crazy stuff.